it is another obwenge wahala in marriage this is another holy ghost court where evangelist ebukobi settles some marriage issues so this particular one is part one just wait shortly for the part two keep watching you will learn one or two things from this video man always support your wife present her to your parents in a way you want her to be addressed if you love your wife and your people your parents your siblings know that you love her they will not take her for granted or treat her inappropriately okay keep watching remember to share this video with your friends let's hear what evangelist ebukobi have to say thank you Okay, who is reporting this case? I'm the one, sir. Huh? I'm the one, sir. Huh? I'm the one, sir. Yeah. Okay, my name is Patience Edache. Okay, my problem with my husband. Where do you come from? Okay, from Benue State. Benue, uh huh. Okay. Um, the problem I have with my husband starts from seven years ago when I put into this boy. So when I married my husband, he doesn't have money. Then we are living in a, a, a water that's face me, I face you. So the mom came. I was the only one working as her then. My husband was not working then. So we are managing, we are not borrowing from anybody and life was still, we are managing and we are still okay. So when I put in, I was pregnant for this boy before my mom died. So when I, 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 I don't have any knowledge of um, how to take care of a baby. So when I put in to this boy, I requested for my husband mother to come. So my neighbors, they were telling me that they can do all these things, that them living in this compound, that nobody sent for anybody to come. But I said, no, me, I don't have knowledge. Let her come. So then my salary was, uh, my basic salary was 25,000 naira. I collected my salary because I gave birth to him October 29, and I got paid October, I got paid November 3rd. So immediately they paid me. I gave 10,000 naira for my husband to send for mama. That's for transport money to come. So immediately she came. I was very happy that she was coming. I've told all my neighbors that she was coming. So when she came, then I don't buy full stop one by one, one, one. Once I collect my salary, I stock the house. And then when she came, I knew, I, I knew that she was coming. She was coming from Abuja. I prepared a goosey soup. Then I made uh, this uh, soup tool. I turned, I turned the tool. When she came, I served her food. And she was just playing with the food. I said, Mama, eat now. She said, eh, she will eat. But like that, she, she would just be like, as if she was crying. I asked my mother, is Mama okay? She said, that is how him too met him. I said, so. So like that, I started playing with her. I said, Mama, eat now. She said, no, that she loved the food. That she, it's just that she ate from the road. I said, okay. And I assumed that was the truth. So we slept and then we woke up. My younger sister uh, sent her um, Irish potatoes. So in the morning, then my tummy was not open. I could not eat. I was only taking tea and ogi. That was what I was only taking. So I, told, I asked her, Mama, what will I do for you? 
She said, no, she's fine. I said, uh, uh, Mama says, yesterday you are fine, fine. She said, hey, there is Irish potato. Now, if she wants to eat, she will eat. I said, okay, because this boy doesn't sleep at that night. So once they break, if we bait, I will go and sleep. And I said, Mama, okay. Me, I want to go and sleep in case you need anything. Tell Teresa she will attend to you. And I told my sister the same thing. So I left. I went to sleep. So when I woke up, I asked, Mama, have you eaten? My sister now said no. And I said, I, I was wrong. So like afternoon time, I wanted to boil rice. I said, I want to cook rice. Is it okay for her? She said, I should do anything that I want. Yeah, straight to the point. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. So like that, that very afternoon, she could not hold her anger anymore. So she now started voicing that she look at the position I put her son, that the son just finished school. He is not set. I say marriage, marriage, marriage. He now he has married me. That she look at the condition that I put the son. So she was very bitter that she cannot hold it anymore. That since yesterday that she came, that she saw this situation, that she is not herself. So I replied, I said, Mama, don't worry. I know a lot of people that normally get married like this. They start like this and they end up well. She now said, so she's talking and I'm talking back on her. Now I said, no, it's not like that. She now said that she'll come less bet. That me, I'm not his son's wife. That if I like, I give birth to 100, to 20 children. That the children will not stay and I will not stay. So when she said that, I didn't take it anything. I just, I just said it's, it's a normal thing. So immediately she used that language. The pot I was carrying, I fling the pot on the ground. Then I left. I went out. My, son, my husband came in. He spoke to the husband. From that day, kata, 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 every day, fight, fight, fight. So that day before she could sleep, I went on my knee. I held her leg. I said, Mama, if what I said in the afternoon got you angry, please forgive me. She said, eh, she has forgiven me. I said, no problem. All of us went and we slept. But from that day, every day, fight, fight, fight. My husband, to the extent that my husband beats me that period. I think three days she arrived. I don't know what she told my husband. My husband slapped me and I fainted. So when I fainted, my younger sister that was staying with me picked a phone and started calling my siblings. And my husband mom told them that it's because I was not eating. That was why I fainted. So my neighbor first told me, so why, why, why was I not eating? So I want to die. Who do I want to leave my son to? So that passed. So the very day of naming, we called Cat Kiss to come and name the baby. So we've already given the baby name before then. My husband with her mother have already agreed on a name. And me and my husband agreed on another name. So the name me and my husband agreed on, we are not on the list. So when the Cat Kiss pronounce the name. I walked short and I said, no, that is not the baby's name. The cat kids now said, then what is the baby's name? And I look at my husband. My husband mother look at me. So she did something like this. So I told my husband, even if you want to change a name, at least you should have informed me. I'm the one that gave birth to this child. It's not like it's any other person. So like that, issues came up. After that naming, Mama left. When she wanted to leave, I still pleaded on her. I said, if I have done anything... After the naming of which name? Which particular name? The, 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 the name that my husband and myself gave to the boy. The cat keys now changed to the name. My husband now gave the name to... Okay, straight to the man left. I apologized when she wanted to leave in the morning because that day she started laying courses as in to not be well with me and my husband, courses like that. So when she wanted to leave in the morning, and I still held her leg and I begged for forgiveness. 
She now said we should come outside that she wants to give us blessing. She carried water and blessed us that all is going to be well. So when she was going, I was calling her. We were talking till she arrived. For one year, we've been good times. If this boy has temperature, I will call mama because she's the only one I know. And I know she has the experience of a mother. Until this boy clocked a year, I took the boy back to Abuja. Same thing that happened. My husband, mother, and my husband, father, and the siblings, they sat us down in the morning and start going back to that again. And I'm told, I, did, I apologize again. So when I came out, I told my husband, why are they still saying this thing that happened over a year? So that ends. So I was unable to get pregnant. I didn't get pregnant again till four years. So when I took in, I gave birth to another baby. Mama insisted that she was coming. I told my husband, no, she shouldn't come. My husband said, it's because I know that I'm going to fight her. That is why I said she shouldn't come. I said, okay, let her come. Then we've already moved in to another apartment. So immediately mama came. She said, ah, she did not come for Mugwa. It's because she heard that we've moved to a better house. That was why she came. So I started laughing. And when she came for the second Omugo, we were living in peace. There was no problem. I was just pampering So what her. is now the problem? Okay, the problem since then, I have been giving birth. The, the baby that I gave birth then died. I gave birth to another baby last two years. After a year again, the, baby, the second baby died again. So I have lost two girls in terms of that period. So when the first baby died, my husband father, when he, after six months before my husband father died, that was when I lost the first baby. My husband, when he was sick, he called me on the phone and he said, Enu Junior, Jalafia, he was crying on the phone. That should Jalafia again, Jalafia again. I don't understand the language. I asked my husband, what is the meaning? My husband lied to me that the meaning is prayer. Not until my, uh, I, I was telling my, my sister-in-law, she now told me that no, that thing is not prayer. The meaning of that thing is give me peace, something like clear road for me. So Anan said, I, I, why would my husband lie for me? So when Anan asked my husband, my husband now said, it was what my sister-in-law said that she, he told me. I don't want to argue because that day we were coming to church here. I let it pass. So from there, when the second baby died, there was nobody from my husband's family. From November last year, I have been going to the hospital carrying this baby. So when the baby died, they said I was the one killing the baby. That is because I was fornicating. That was why the children are dying. How many children have you lost? I've lost two girls. That is because I was fornicating. That was why the children are dying. So because the baby died in the church, immediately I was coming out from the church. Then I started saying it. The church is close to my house. Not Zion minister. No, not Zion. Biko, I don't know Biko, Zion as at that time. Biko. So, when I was coming out, the nurse said, the nurse started saying it. That is because I was fornicating. That was why the baby were dying. And I asked them, that is Aleku that is killing the children. And I said, uh -uh, do Aleku kill girls? Because Aleku that I know does not kill girls. So from there, they insisted that we should come to the village. So when we went to the village, they said, my, myself and my husband, that our mind is dirty, that they have gone everywhere to find out that we should do some sacrifice. So they charged me 9,000 naira for cleansing. So they bought a chicken and then they took me to my husband's father's grave slaughter the chicken and started rubbing the blood on my head so ever since i came back from there i have not been myself and aside that time 
before the baby could die, I think two months before the girl, the, the last baby would die, my husband, elder brother, I didn't do him anything. He just developed hatred on me. If I greet him, he doesn't respond. I reported to my husband. My husband did nothing. Until one day, we, I was going to my brother's house and my husband was going to his brother's house. He called the both of us that we should settle. Then I asked my, brother, my husband brother, have I wronged you in any way? Because I'm a human being, I may not know so that I will not repeat it again. Okay, what, what then now happened? So he now, my husband brother threatened me in the presence of my husband that the family have been wanting to take a decision over my life that he's the one that has been stopping them. But right now, he's giving them go ahead to take the decision. And my husband was right there. He didn't defend me. He didn't say anything. So I called my elder brother. That this threat is coming from everywhere. I cannot die in marriage. When I called my elder brother, he called my husband. My husband told him that it's a woman thing. So my, husband, my elder brother said, no, this is not a woman thing. I have never reported my marriage to him. For me, calling him to report this issue, that means the issue is becoming serious. So my husband said he's going to say to it. So that thing happened around September. November, my baby starts sick. Every day I take her to the hospital. Okay, we have all happened. The fact is that my husband, whenever the family, even the last born of the family that is like this, if it do or does anything to me, my let husband me, does not defend me. Give your husband, let me hear from him. I, I'm seeing people that still love themselves. Uh, mommy, you know, I have a cuckoo. Oga, where, your name and where you come from and what is the problem of your wife? What are you going to say? Praise the Lord. My name is Augustine Edache. And I'm from Penry State, Ohimini, local government to be precise. Doma. Yes. Okay. Yeah, like uh, my wife said, <clears throat> it is a seven year old problem that had been on ground in her, but not in me. Because <clears throat> when all of these things were happening, whenever she comes to me to say, a or B, I'll continue to ask her, how sure are you of what is coming out of the mouth of people? Because the kind of man I am, I don't listen to gossip and I don't work with gossip. If it's sincere, I take it and I surrender to it. But if I sense lie in it, I don't take it. She's here and she can bear me witness that I've told her that a number of times. Yes, my mom visited when we had this boy. There was an altercation between my wife and my mom. But she never made me understood exactly what was happening until my, my mom left. After years that we gave birth to our second daughter, the case came up. She started telling me of what had trespassed between herself and my mom when my mom visited the first time. I said, okay, this has been in you for long. Now, if out of anger, my mom had told you all you have told me, then it means you must have done something wrong. Did you check yourself? That was the question I asked her. And any time I come up with this question, this principle of trying to solve this, this uh, pro uh, problem, she will always flare and there would be an argument. My brother, what? what she said that happened between her and your mom, do you, you are in the house. What exactly happened? Now, my mom, she, say, she told me that my mom, when my mom visited... She, are you not in the house? I am not at then, I was not always at home until this moment. I am not always at home because then I was, I was hunting for job. So I go out and come in. And when all Are of you that not was sleeping happening, in that house that time? I, I was sleeping in the house at that time. 
And you, even if you are going to work to come back, and this kind of level of problem she was having with her mom, you did not witness it, you didn't know about it. I never witnessed the altercation, but I witnessed her. Yeah, put to my me. On it. yeah, I never witnessed her argue with my mom or quarreling with my mom right in my presence, but she always told me. And whenever she told me, I would call my mom later and talk to my mom. When she came, she never spent more than, more than four days with us for the first son of the family, the first grandson of the family. What is the current situation now between your wife and your family? Yeah, now the, the current situation is this. After the, <clears throat> we lost our two girls and we returned back from the village, to be honest, things have never been the same with us. Yes. It's from one problem to another as a result of prophecies coming from different angles. Prophecy of the problem I am faced in my family today is caused by my family. That the problem is from my home. I don't have any spiritual father. I don't have any spiritual eyes to see if this problem is actually coming from my home because I cannot tell exactly where this is coming from. What make you people to take her to your late father's grave and pour the blood? Are you not aware when that was discussed? It happened immediately we lost the girl on 13th of January this what year. What led to that? What led to taking her to the grave? I, I came from a particular place where they believe in custom and tradition. The reason not. why they took her there is because yeah. they believe she's cheating. That first time. Are you not aware that what they did? They normally do that when people cheat on their husband. They believe that that is what is killing the children that die. And you are way you allow them to take the innocent lady to the grave of a dead man. Kill foul, pouring the blood. on her head and the body <clears throat> it is not as if they, they just took her there now where, uh, there was you being a man that married this lady are you not aware be before they do that I was aware but there was something that happened that led to that what did you do to protect her from doing that In my place where I come from, a married woman cannot put on the clothes of another man. She went to work, pregnant. She came back to the house in the evening with a man's dress, up and down. My eyes saw what my mouth could not say. Because I know from where I'm coming from, it's a taboo 